Hey everybody. So today I'm going to show you what I have from Mac Pro Products. Yesterday I let you guys know that you can now get Mac Pro Products right on their website. You no longer need to call a number or go to a Mac Pro store. They're available to everybody at any time now. And they also added something on the website since I made that video. If you go on the website, they actually have a link now that you can click on that says Pro Products so that you can look at just the Pro Products if that's what you want to do. They're not mixed in anymore. So that was a good idea and made it a little bit more user friendly. Okay, so let me show you what I own for Pro Products. I did place an order and to order um, just a a very small amount of things and when I get that in I'll show you those too but for now here's what I have this I found actually at a CCO this is lip erase lip balm and this is in the color dim lip erase comes in two different colors this is the darker of the two and you know had I had a choice I would have gotten the lighter one but this is the only one that they had and I really wanted to try lip erase and didn't realize what was going to happen with them offering the pro products online. So I grabbed this recently when I saw it at the CCO and have had a lot of fun playing around with it. What I have discovered is it does work well in covering the pigmentation in my lips, but doesn't work with every formula of lipstick because this is a lip balm. So if you use a moisturizing lipstick on top of this, you could run into some problems. Um, if you wanted to do that, probably the best thing to do would be to wait a while and let some of the moisture like sink into your lips before you try to apply a moisturizing lipstick. But um, if you use a drier formula lipstick, you won't have any issues. It'll go right on and it'll work really well. I would like to have tried the lighter color of this because it would be more suited to my coloring but what are you gonna do <laughs> okay next let's uh, get into lipsticks and let's see what should I start with let's start with this this is show orchid this is an amplified finish and it's a bright vibrant pink there were a lot of colors that came out like this over the last couple of years in lipsticks and I didn't really buy any of them because I figured since I had this I was all set with the bright pink lipsticks because this isn't a color that I would wear like on a daily basis. I, I would definitely wear this in the spring and summer once in a while but just not every day. And then another reason why I didn't pick up any of the newer ones that came out is because of full fuchsia which is an amplified finish and this is a deep fuchsia color so between this and the last one I figured I was pretty well covered for bright pink bright pink lipsticks so and I'm not gonna swatch them because swatched they look just like they do in the tube these are very pigmented very vibrant lipsticks that do not lose anything when you swatch them the next one is Peach Stock. This is a satin finish and this is a nude and it's a warm nude I would say. I don't care for satin finish lipsticks by MAC. I find that finish the most difficult to apply or wear as somebody who is older who does not have perfect lips. Um, so not crazy about the formula on this and the color is definitely more suited to someone with warmer skin tones so not one of my favorite lipsticks but you might like it next is Violetta this is an amplified finish and this is a wham in your face purple but how pretty is that though really I mean it's not very wearable but um you know Halloween's coming <laughs> but no I mean if I was younger and I went to nightclubs or something like that, I don't know, maybe I would have fun wearing this with a purple dress or something. But <laughs> really, uh, I think I've worn it, I don't know, maybe twice and probably never left the house either. <laughs> 
But you know, it's it's fun to have things like this in your collection, even if you don't wear them that often. Everybody should have at least one purple lipstick that they can play with from time to time. I, uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> Next up is eyeshadows. And my tastes in eyeshadows have definitely changed in the years that I've been on YouTube. I used to love bright colored eyeshadows or light colored eyeshadows or, um, just anything that was really pretty in color but now as time has gone by I am definitely really into the neutrals and more wearable colors now it definitely was not always that way but that's what I really am enjoying at the moment that could change I don't know but for now um, not getting a lot of use out of the colors that I'm about to show you first off is Indian ink and this is a uh, a dark purple. Really pretty though. You could definitely um, use this as a crease color and put it with something else and have it look nice if you blended it a lot. So that I would definitely repurchase. This one, <laughs> Blue Calm. Um, no, I probably wouldn't repurchase this because I have a lot of colors that are similar to this and the colors that I reach for the least now are these bright blue colors. I just, I don't know, not feeling it anymore. Not feeling the bright blues, but, you know, fun once in a while to wear something like that. This I really enjoy and have gotten a lot of use out of. This is Aqua, and pastels look, look good on me. If I'm going to start playing around with colors, then... I do pretty well with the pastels and this is just a nice just like it says aqua it's a pot pastel aqua so this I have used quite a bit next is lime and I don't I don't really reach for these colors that often but again you know it's fun to have a variety of things in your collection I believe this came out with the dare to wear collection and that's how I acquired that along with aqua and this next color which is sky blue so see I would be more likely to use the sky blue than the blue calm but again I'm just not really into the blues much anymore I'm loving my neutrals lately so that is what I own right now for Mac Pro products I did place an order and that should be arriving sometime next week I would say and um, when I get those products in I'm gonna show them to you and um, it's gonna be something a little different than what I just showed you but I'll get more into that once I actually have the products and I can show them to you while I'm talking about them so I hope this was helpful in some way and I'll see you next time bye